This is a video tutorial on how to make a scrolling city, kind of like the Roku screensaver. So this is a student project from school, and this video is just going to show you how to uh, set up the buildings in Illustrator, and then we'll teach you how to animate it in Photoshop after you have everything built in Illustrator. So this was all student-created artwork in this video here. So this is the template that I gave you to get things started with. You'll see I have uh, these different layers here where you're going to paste things. So you're going to have your front buildings, uh, the things that are in the water, and then you're going to have, we're probably going to end up merging the back buildings and sky things all in one at the end. But for now, we'll go ahead and uh, do it like this. Okay, so I'm going to open up some of your artwork that you sent me. Now, I think some people that did this like this one here, it looks good, but I believe that it's clip art, and so I really want to try to keep this to student-made artwork as much as possible. I know a few of you are, are behind on making your city illustrations, and I said that you could use some clip art, but I'm going to try to not use clip art because I really want it to be uh, student-created. So I'm going to hold off on using those, even though they're nice, they're not, I don't think they're student-created because they're, they're uh, a little bit too good. All right, so I'm gonna start off with uh, this one here from Jonathan. So a lot of times when you guys make signs, it's gonna do this when you open it. If you don't have the same font, like I don't have Harlow on my computer, it's gonna tell you that there's missing fonts. Just close it, don't worry about it, tell it to skip that. And what you'll need to do is wherever there is a font, okay, so Jonathan has his layers locked, I'm gonna unlock these. Wherever there is a font, you just need to convert it to outlines. So I believe that surf was already converted to outlines. This market, he probably, when it had a different font, it probably fit in here better. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill that space up and then go to type, create outlines. Um, that one's already outlined. All right, so it was just this market, and I think the rest are good. All right, so what you want to do before you copy them into your template is select the whole thing, like the whole building, and then do Control G. That way it's grouped, so when you're moving it around in the template, it's grouped. So I group that, it's Control G, Control C to copy. I'm going to go on my template, make sure I'm on front buildings, and then do Control V to paste it. And then I'm going to move it over here and hold the shift key so it stays proportional and kind of make these a little bit on the small side so that you can have a long row of them. You don't want them to be too big. Like I feel like this one here is a little bit too big. It will make your animation really short if you have them too big. So go ahead and make them a little bit smaller. I may even reduce that one down a little bit somewhere around like that. All right, so let's go copy another one. All right, he has this on this, a different layer, so I'm gonna select all that and do Control G to group, Control C to copy, then go on my template, make sure I'm in front buildings and do Control V. And let's move it next to this one and hold the Shift key on the corner. And the little fruit stand's probably gonna be a little bit smaller than the uh, other building is. Probably something like that. All right, and then let's go into Jonathan's other file and get this building here. This pagoda. Control G to group. Control C to copy. And then we can go ahead and close that file out. We don't really need to save the changes that we did. All right. I kind of think this would be cool maybe to have that on one of the islands. So I might move that to an island. I think I'm going to do that. So let's let's delete that and let's go on to water things layer and I'm going to paste that over there on on that island. Maybe we'll make the island bigger, but I kind of like it over there on this island. All right, and now back to the front buildings. All right, let me go and open up someone else's um, buildings. Let's open up some of Pablo's. Just once again, just close out the font replacement. And you can see when it highlights it in pink, it means it can't find the font. So I'm just going to click Control Shift G to ungroup. And now I can just click on his font and I can say Type, Create Outlines. I'm going to move that more in the center. 
And now I can group this again. And then I'm going to copy it and go to my landscape and make sure I'm in front buildings and paste this building in here. All right. So I'm not going to paste all these in here on camera because you don't really need to see me do that. You get the basic gist of how this works. Um, I'm going to move this water things. I'm going to move this pagoda and the island a little bit more like that so you can see it a little bit more since that building is short. So that way you can see through and see that pagoda over there. But yeah, continue to populate your um, city landscape template with background things and um, foreground buildings and things in the water and also some signs. You're going to have some things. I don't have a layer here with signs, but you should probably add a layer. Let me just go ahead and do that. And we're going to type signs. And some signs need to be in the front of, of all that stuff too. All right, so I'm going to go off camera and finish populating this file with your artwork. And then I'll come back and show you um, how to get it ready to animate in Photoshop. I got with um, pasting your artwork in here. So this is all I got from your submissions. The other things that I got were just clip art or stuff from last year. So this is everything that I've gotten uh, so far this year from you guys. So if you haven't emailed me your city artwork yet, please do that because we've had a couple of weeks to uh, build this. So uh, I just wanted to show you so far what, it, what you can do with it. So I made a new layer, like I said, called signs. Those are the things that are going to be out in the front and they're going to be animating a lot faster than everything else. I did add this superhero too that I think Jason did. So you're allowed to use some of that superhero art that you created for the yearbook and put that in here too if you'd like. So I have some signs. I'm, you can also put trees and street lights and things like that on this um, top layer. And then we have the front buildings so you can see about what size to make everything and then I have some things in the water. Pablo did some ships and we have um, Jonathan's Pagoda on the island over there. So we can have some more islands and different things in the water and the back buildings. Those are the easiest ones. It shouldn't take you very long just to make some of these back buildings. And if you want to separate some of your buildings and maybe have a bridge going between the two or something like that, that would look cool. I think last year somebody had like the silhouette of a Ferris wheel and kind of a fair. So the back row was actually pretty easy. So I would recommend that you work on some of those back row things too. If you do run out of time, it's very easy to just like click on all of them and, you know, hold the option shift, oops, hold the option and shift key and just copy, drag a copy of them too. So you can fill it up doing it that way too, but I'd like to see you create as much as you can with the time that we have have left. All right, so I'll make another video soon showing how this looks when it's finished, when I get more of your artwork pasted in here, and then we'll bring it into Photoshop and I'll really take it from there.